We were examining pedestrian automatic emergency braking systems for a group of 16 mid-sized cars. This included both luxury models as well as non-luxury models. What we discovered were, was that the performance varied. We had some vehicles that performed very well and rated superior, and other vehicles that got no credit. So the vehicles are equipped with a combination of sensors and software. Uh, the sensors may be radar based or they may be camera based. As you can see on this vehicle, there are two cameras that are used to detect if there may be a pedestrian in the path of the oncoming vehicle. So the sensors scan ahead, look for a pedestrian, send that information to the software, and then the software will warn the driver that there is a pedestrian in the path and will apply the brakes if necessary to stop the vehicle before striking the pedestrian. These systems do reduce uh, real-world pedestrian crashes. We've been able to conduct one study of the Subaru EyeSight system, which is the system that you see here on this vehicle, uh, that shows pedestrian-related insurance claims drop by about 35% on vehicles with this system versus similar vehicles without this system. Uh, since 2009, we have seen an almost 50% increase in the number of pedestrians who are killed on the roads in the United States. We believe this technology has real promise to help address this problem. Of the vehicles that we rated in 2019, approximately two-thirds of them had pedestrian AED systems. So we run each vehicle through a series of three pedestrian scenarios, an adult who is crossing the street, a child who is crossing the street, and then finally an adult who is standing alongside the roadway. And we run each of those tests at two different vehicle speeds. The most challenging test scenario we perform is a child entering the street from behind a parked vehicle. This is commonly referred to as a dash or a dart out type crash. The vehicle has less time to react. The sensors on the vehicle are obstructed by the vehicles that are parked and therefore there's less time for the software to detect there's a pedestrian there and then be able to stop the vehicle and not strike the pedestrian. So our rating scale ranges from superior to advanced to basic to no credit. And the ratings are assigned based on how well the vehicle either stops or reduces its speed before striking the pedestrian. We had six different automakers who had vehicles that achieved a superior rating in this round of testing, including Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, Nissan, and Subaru. We had three vehicles that received no credit in this round of testing. That included the Ford Fusion, the Hyundai Sonata, and the Kia Optima. The two vehicles that stood out in our testing this time around include the Nissan Maxima and the Subaru Outback. Both of these vehicles are non-luxury vehicles that offer pedestrian AEB as standard equipment, and they also achieved a superior rating in our test. The Maxima performed very well in all of our tests, avoiding the pedestrian in every single test that we ran. The Ford Fusion did not receive any credit in our test. It had particular difficulty in the child crossing the street scenario, not slowing down in any of those tests. Halloween consistently ranks as one of the deadliest days for pedestrians in the United States. We encourage consumers to shop for vehicles that have pedestrian AEB systems. They should also check the ratings on our website to understand which vehicles have the latest technologies available.